my channel. I thought we'd do a video, I guess this is a haul. I recently went on holiday and I got a little bit spendy in Heathrow Terminal 5 duty free. And I thought it'd be interesting to A, show you what I got, but B, talk about the price differences and the kind of savings you can make by shopping duty free. Because I think it's probably the only occasion where you can buy the likes of Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton with quite a significant discount. Um, and I got a little bit spendy. I was obviously very early for my flight and I was a little bit out of control. So I thought I'd show you what I got and then we can talk about the price differences and the savings. So I'm going to start with the first item that I purchased, which is from good old Chanel. Um, I'm not the hugest Chanel fan um, on the whole, but when I saw these on the runway, I instantly fell in love with them and knew I had to have them. They are a pair of sunglasses and they are probably the most expensive sunglasses I have ever purchased, but they are a real statement with this um, chain, which is detachable. You can take that on and off. And I'm gonna put them on for you. So you can either wear them like this. I quite like it like this with the chain at the front, or you can throw the chain over and then wear them like that. So you're not gonna lose them, which is always great. So yeah, really love these. And I think actually it's these sunglasses that real, really trailblaze this trend for this to come back. Like, I don't know if you remember these with, maybe associating them with like your mum or your dad wearing these kind of sunglasses for practical reasons so they don't lose them. But now it's really on trend and really in vogue. Um, you can get them in different shapes. So I got the round, but they also do a square shape. And you can also buy them with slightly different chains. So this is the more embellished chain, which has the pearls, and then this, which is sort of a little bit like the bag straps. I don't know if you can see that there. And then there's this little gold chain here, which has the little CC at the top. Now you can buy these and with just this gold chain that has the little CC on it. Um, and that is less money. But I thought as you're gonna, as I, if I'm spending this much money on a pair of sunglasses, I may as well just go all out and get the whole shebang. And I do love them and I have worn them a lot. And so I paid in duty free, 570 pounds for these but the retail price in store so if you don't buy them at duty free if you just bought them from a boutique or if you just bought them from Harrods or Selfridges for example is 690 pounds so I saved what 120 which is a big big saving um and definitely worth it so really really glad I got those really glad I managed to make that sizable saving if you do um, want to know the price of the one with this, the simple gold chain. I know that they retail in boutiques for 415 so you're probably looking at saving maybe £80 if you bought them from, from the airport rather than from a boutique. So it's definitely worth, definitely worth trying to bag them at the airport if, if you're travelling and you can do that. So those are my sunglasses. And then I went to Hermes. Now, I love Hermes, but I feel like it's one of those brands that's really up there and is a lot of money and I don't really have a huge amount of Hermes and if I do, it tends to be an investment purchase and something really, really, really special. So I bought, and I don't know how easy you're going to see this on camera, but it is the Collier de Chian ring in silver in the small size. They also do a wider size, which... I'll insert a picture of um, so you can see what it looks like. And I was debating between getting the smaller one or the wider one. I just thought that this one was easier to wear day to day. Now, I had the Cartier Love Ring, which I wore every single day. And unfortunately, I lost it. I was uh, changing my bed sheets and I forgot that I'd put the ring on my bed and then put the bed sheets in the washing machine and I the ring was gone. I don't know where it went, probably somewhere down a drain somewhere. Um, so this is to replace that. Now, unlike the Cartier Love Ring, that was white gold and this is silver. So this is a lot less expensive, um, which is actually in a way it's quite nice because I wear it every single day 
and I don't really have to worry too much about if it gets scratched or ruined or if I put it down and I can't find it for a bit it doesn't it doesn't make my heart totally skip a beat like it did when I lost the Cartier one and this in duty free was 333 pounds versus the 400 pounds that it is in store so again quite a big saving and I think for something that I wear every single day and I do wear this every single day it's quite nice to know that I saved some money on it um maybe not quite as big a saving as on the sunglasses but still 70 odd pounds is 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 not bad so really happy with that and um as I said, I wear it a lot. And then my final stop was in Gucci. Um, again, funnily enough, a little bit like Chanel. Not a massive Gucci fan. I like it. I think it's great fun. However, I do think it's a real fashion brand. I think what you buy today won't necessarily date very well in two or three years' time. So I kind of keep that in mind when I buy Gucci. However, I did buy this and I'm slightly eating my words by talking about fashion items because I think this really is a fashion item. However, I have got a lot of, oh, I have got a lot of wear out of it. Um, it is quite in your face. So just warning you. And it is the Gucci hair clip where it is basically plastered in sparkles across it and I've got the clip version which is like this you can also get it and I'm probably butchering the French word but the barrette which is like a, it's more like a slide and it clips um, and then they also do a sort of comb version as well which I think the comb version is probably the most tricky to use this is really easy to just clip in your hair um, and I have to say as I, I've worn it a lot, but I'm a little bit disappointed by it because there's tiny little like gold studs on um, that surround the Swarovski crystals. And I've lost a couple of the studs and I lost those quite early on. So I was a little bit disappointed by that. Um, having said that, I have worn it a lot. So I'm not saying the quality is bad, but I'm just saying you might want to be a little bit careful with it. And when you're spending that much on a hair clip, it would be nice if it was, you know, if you could wear it without worrying about it. But say la vie. Um, and so this retails for 315 And there was absolutely no way I would pay £315 in a boutique for it. I think that's ridiculous. However, at Duty Free, it was 260 which is a little bit more manageable. And I was also quite... Um, like suckered in by it because I knew it was a piece that everybody was trying to get their hands on and it was the last piece they had at duty free and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna bite the bullet because you know you know what it is like that hysteria around must-have items and I think I just got suckered in I thought well as I'm saving some money it's it's a no-brainer to be fair as I said I've worn it a lot but um it's not something I would necessarily buy full price and then I also bought from Gucci a pair of loafers now I have I do really really like these um, this style of shoe and I know everybody that had them used to rave about how comfortable they were um, but I just never got around to buying a pair so while I was at duty free I slightly got suckered in and got these I love this colorway I think it's such an unusual colorway with the kind of green I mean, what is it, like a seafoam green with pink? And I have, you can tell, I've worn them quite a lot. I have worn them a bit. And they're pretty comfortable. And what's so amazing about these shoes is they really mould to your feet. So, yes, you slightly have to get through a couple of uncomfortable wears. But once you have, they just fit you like a glove, which is great. Um, in terms of sizing, I took a 36, which is my regular size. So I say it's pretty true to size. I do think that the leather definitely softens on these, so if you are between sizes, you might want to size down, but I, they, Gucci do do half sizes. So you should be able to pretty much go for your regular size. And these full price are 540 in the boutiques, and I paid in duty-free 450. 
so it's about ninety pounds um, saving. I think is that right? Ninety pounds? No, one hundred and ten pounds. Not very good at maths. I think that's right. I'll put a little sum on here just to make sure that my maths is right. But um, yes, so that was. Um, yeah, really, really happy with these. Worn these a lot. These look amazing, um, I think, with a pair of cropped denim jeans and just a white shirt. It's very sort of Parisian chic. So I like those a lot. Um, so I hope that was helpful, kind of giving you an idea of the savings that you can make at Duty Free. The other thing you can do is ring up the, if you know you're traveling, is ring up the boutiques and find out what they have. So if you're after something particular, just give them a call. Um, often they'll give you their mobile, the sales assistants will give you their mobile numbers, you can just WhatsApp them a picture. And if they have it, they'll let you know. I don't know, I don't think that the boutiques can hold pieces for you. As far as I'm aware, I don't think they will do that. However, Heathrow Terminal 5 personal shopping will do that for you. So if you contact the personal shopping team and say, look, I know that Chanel, Gucci, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, whoever it is, has a piece in stock at the moment. I am flying on this date at this time. I'd really like to book in a personal shopping appointment and can you please pull these items for me? As far as I'm aware, the service is free and there's no kind of minimum spend. So if you decide that it's, you know, that you don't like it, you don't have to purchase it, but at least you have the peace of mind knowing that the items are reserved for you. So that's a really good um, way of definitely securing items with a discount. And they also have Dior um, at Heathrow Terminal 5. They have, as I mentioned, Louis Vuitton. They've got Valentino. They've got Smyth. And they've got a lot of the big brands. I mean, obviously, Terminal 5 is, a, is the newest terminal. So it does have the best shopping. But I know that some of the other terminals also have quite big brands in them. However, if you're flying BA, I definitely think you should plan ahead and have a think about the things that you might want and try and reserve them if you can. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'd love for you to subscribe for a few more videos from me coming soon. And I'll catch you later. Bye.